Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of June 27th through to about July 4th, 2022. This is a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Aries, let's see what the week has in store for you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to all of you. Uh, please make sure that you do subscribe. Also, if you want me to continue doing the weekly readings, please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, you can leave me a comment. But let's see. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, Aries. So you definitely could be maybe overthinking things at this time. But let's see what else we get. Aries, what does Aries have coming up? Okay, we have two nines. Look at this, nine of swords and nine of cups. Hmm. Some of you could be working at night. That's not all of you, but for some of you. Okay, we have the six of cups. We have the four of pentacles. All right, these are sideways. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Magician. Okay, we have Strength. The Hierophant, which did land completely in the reverse. You may be dealing with a Taurus. What is the overall energy for Aries, please? What is the overall energy? You have two and they're both majors. Look at this. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which technically this is the card that I would take next for the overall energy. So the Wheel of Fortune and then we have the moon, which is a bonus card. So things are changing, but you know, there's definitely some fear here around this, some worry, also maybe not seeing everything clearly at this time. There could be some confusion, illusion, delusion for some of you. But for others, this is, this is a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear here, but change is coming in. And so you could be taking a chance. Yeah, you could be taking a chance. And so you're worried about this. Um, moving into the unknown with the moon. You don't know how things are going to play out. So you're worried. So we do have the Two of Swords. This is a bonus card. Let's see. And I do apologize for background noise. Let's see. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Knave of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. The Lovers. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles upright. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like news is going to come in, Aries, when you least expect it. And it's in regards to some sort of change. And you definitely may not see this coming at all. And so could be because, you know, you could be overthinking a little bit too much here at this time. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a tendency, Aries, to overthink at this time. So just be aware. You definitely will need to keep yourself grounded here this week. Maybe even distracted for some of you. That's really for those of you where, I mean, the fear could be pretty intense. 
you may need to even for some of you maybe seek professional help but you definitely may not want to do that I'm definitely seeing some of you not do that so that may be something that's needed but some of you are definitely maybe being a little stubborn trying to deal with something on your own I don't blame you no judgment here I'm a Taurus so I mean I completely understand but uh, two of swords the knave of wands and the lovers so this is this is for some of you it's a decision coming in that you're waiting on for others this is this is news it's coming in and you may not see this coming could be uh, from a Gemini could be a Leo an Aries a Sag who's reaching out to you possibly ear sign um, so Libra Aquarius possibly could be a family matter could be a work related matter uh, or it may may even have something to do with maybe property assets two of swords is you need more information there's a tremendous amount of fear here and you need more information you're worrying uh, quite a bit and it's because um, not all is known and you need more information. Also, um, someone may reach out to you and I am definitely reading for some Aries where you don't want to maybe reply. And I think Leo, I'm not sure if it was Leo, somebody else just had a similar message. So definitely watch your other signs if you're dealing with the Leo. Definitely uh, watch that reading as well. But you may not reply right away. You definitely may uh, make someone wait. So somebody may reach out to you, but you definitely may not reply. Uh, it could be an ex. I mean, you have the six of cups here. Someone definitely may want to reunite with you, but you have the four of pentacles right next to it. So this is, this is a closed off energy. It's a stubborn energy. Yeah. Some of you are definitely holding back. You're resisting. And, you know, maybe some of you are married. If not married, this can be, this can be um, like a, a non-traditional relationship. So maybe you guys live together and have a family, but maybe you're not married or something like that. Uh, it could also be like a blended family. But, you know, maybe you were together for many years. This also can be you um, just wanting to do things your way. Yeah, and you know, we did have the 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck along with the nine of pentacles. You also have the nine of cups here. And so I could be reading for some Aries where You may have taken a break from a relationship or that could be something that you're doing at this time. But with these nines, this is, this is a cycle that's nearing the end. You have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a 10. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the, the 10 of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is, this is a cycle that's wrapping up. But, um, yeah, some of you that are married or maybe uh, were in a relationship with somebody, you definitely could be taking a break. This person may want to reunite with you and you may resist. And it could be because you're, you're perfectly content on your own. Also a few of you, and this is just a few of you, but somebody in the past maybe could have ghosted you 
And so they kind of left you hanging. And so now you're definitely going to take your sweet time with maybe replying back. Yeah, so it's quite the interesting spread, but you are manifesting something brand new. Now, some of you will choose to maybe stay on your own. So if you've taken a break from a relationship, I am reading for some areas where you could have split up with this person very, very hastily. This could have been something that happened suddenly. And uh, some of you may want to actually remain single. But when you move into um, like unknown territory, it definitely can be a little scary. And for some of you, I mean, this could be new love. This definitely could be new love. You have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could have been dealing with an unrequited love situation. And now you may actually have a new love interest. But I, I feel like this person from the past is definitely going to be reaching out to you here at some point. And I don't feel like this past person has changed. I know this is very specific, but, you know, if you had a problem with commitment prior with this person, if you had a problem with this person maybe ghosting you or being inconsistent, whatever it was, I feel like they haven't changed. Someone is definitely still stuck in their ways, stubborn. And so I see you holding back emotionally. They may want to go out. They may want to have fun. They, they may, excuse me, want to take you out for a drink. And you're on the fence. I feel like if this person was to try hard enough, I feel like you would. But I'm definitely reading for some Aries where you're, you're not going to. You will resist this person. But um, let's pull you an overall guidance card for Aries. What is the... Oh, my God. We have romance that just shot right out. Yeah, I mean, this is a romance that you don't see coming. For many of you, it's going to be with an Aquarius, possibly a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo. Also could be Pisces, Virgo. Gemini or Cancer. I know that's like the whole zodiac, but that's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. And so this could be a deep love. This could be someone who keeps coming around or, you know, um, it could be someone who just keeps coming into your life. On again, off again situation. I do apologize for background noise, but, um, yeah, romance, love is in the air. Love is definitely in the air. For some of you, you may be opposites. Getting that. Okay, we also have manifestation, which you have the magician here in the spread. Some of you are manifesting this new relationship. All right, let's see. Looking at your love life. What is the guidance for Aries, please, for this week? Looking at their love life. Look at that. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that's not for all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But for some of you, this is an unrequited situation where someone may have ghosted you in the past. Others... Um, Maybe this person didn't want to commit or they were inconsistent, possibly younger, or just maybe immature. And so you have a new possibility in love. Yeah, look at that at the bottom of the deck, attraction. And I am reading for some Aries 
this is actually going to be a very strong, intense attraction. I mean, it could be a twin flame situation. I mean, we have the lovers here. We have the lovers. And, you know, if you are dealing with a particular person, if this is someone that you've distanced yourself from, you don't want to play, you know, this game with them any longer, if if this is a twin flame situation for those of you where you know it is, um, they may be chasing you. So that tends to happen when you pull away, they come running. So for some of you, it's, it's a situation like that. But let's look at career for Aries, please. What is the guidance for Aries for this week? So there could be something going on on the job front that you're you're hoping for. You're hoping for. I feel like luck is on your side. It comes down to timing. And so this is definitely going to happen when you least expect it. And news is coming in when you least expect it. So remain positive. Have hope. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Wow, look at this. We have ask for help. So some of you may need to ask for help, but you definitely may not be ready to do so this week. So this could be something that's coming here in the near future. I don't know about uh, that happening this week. It could be next week because some of you are closed off, but eventually may need to ask for help. Let's see what signs you're dealing with. Who is Aries dealing with? But there's definitely love coming in. You are manifesting. And you also have something else coming in on the career front, so you need to stay positive. Who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with this week? Okay, we have Scorpio, Scorpio and Leo. All right, Aries, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and of course, make sure you are subscribed. If you are interested in having a private reading, my link and information is down below. Make sure that you are only clicking on the links that I provide. All right, guys, have a great week. Take